Hey everyone. Hey bag ladies and bag dudes. I'm Sarah Lawson from Soul Sweetness. This is my husband Danny and you're watching Ask Sarah, my weekly Q&A chat. Thank you very much, Violet. My daughter Violet, she's 10. She always gets the show started on Tuesdays so Danny, Danny can join me on set. I see Karen's watching from BC. Donna's joining us. Thank you so much for watching, Donna. Montana Wendy from, of course, Montana. So thank you everyone so much for joining me for Ask Sarah. Um, Danny has re returned. He was taking... Um, I was put on work administrative leave. <laughs> we had our special guest, Pat Sloan, last Tuesday, and so Danny was uh, behind the controls again, but he's back joining us on set. So welcome back. Um, I had my uh, little buddy Flash out with me before the show. Um, we got Violet. Well, it's actually Violet's pet. Violet got a bearded dragon for her birthday last year. And um, I worked in pet stores for 14 years, so I got to see all sorts of different kinds of pets. But after I had Violet, I developed an allergy to anything with fur. So while I was still working in the pet store, I was taking care of uh, the reptiles, the fish, and I, I never really considered having a reptile. I always had dogs. Um, I took my dog, my first dog, to a lot of obedience shows. So I thought I would always have dogs. But um, then came the allergy. And uh, I really liked bearded dragons because they were really friendly. I always liked watching them when I would feed them in the morning, eat their little salads. And so we got one last year. Um, being that Violet and I are allergic to and Danny and William have asthma. It really limited us to our pet choices. Asthma takes out a lot of other options like birds. Um, they have a lot of dust on their feathers, especially cockatiels and cockatoos. So we got a bearded dragon last year and I feel like I've slowly been confiscating her. Um, I, I take her out as much as I can, especially in the evenings when I'm reading my books. Uh, Cheryl says, I would love to see Flash. Um, well, I actually got a couple pictures that I put on uh, the screen um, that I got ready for Danny before the show. So he's going to put uh, those three little pictures up on the screen so you, you could see what she looks like. She's not a year old yet. She's nine months old. You ready? Um, yep, go ahead. It's not working. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> so this is Flash in her angel outfit. We have a few costumes for her. So this was her at Christmas. She was an angel. Um, and then I have a couple other pictures. I made a digging bin Sand is not really that good for them because they can ingest it, but I made a bin with fleece scraps from Joanne's, and she likes to dig in it. And there's her sleeping. So this is when I was reading my book, which this is what I do almost every evening. I cover her. She has a bunch of special little blankets. So I cover her with her blanket. I go upstairs and lay in bed. And then I cover both of us with the down comforter so we can stay warm because um, bearded dragons are cold-blooded, so they can't. they don't have any... They can't make their own body heat so when she's in her tank she's under um, a couple different lights to keep warm uh, but when i read in bed with her i make sure you know we're both covered up and i feel like my body heat reflects off the blankets and keeps her warm in there so we can i we can stay up there reading while i'm reading she's not reading for a you know couple what's hours. funny is sarah thinks that flash is always tired flash likes to hide when you take her out she'll run around then she'll find a dark spot <laughs> So I was like, she's just tired. I'm like, she's not tired 20 hours out of the 24 hours No, in hours the day. evening, she's tired. It'd it's, be 12 o'clock in the afternoon. She'll run to a dark she spot. Runs to around, she runs around all day. She always wants to come out. So I take her out and she goes exploring. Um, Tamara says, how big will Flash get? Uh, right now, she's, how would you, would you say I would she's say about she's this big? I would say she's probably 80 to 90% of her max size. Yeah, so she's going to get... Way longer than that with the tail. Well, not counting the tail. Yeah, I think she's right around the max size, to be honest. Okay, so about this big without the tail. Uh, her tail's probably doubles her body length. Um, Penny says, does she stay in a cage at night? Yeah, she has a glass tank, and her tank is uh, regulated by temperature. So if the temperature drops below, I think you have it set at 75? 74. 74. Um, the nighttime heater kicks in, but it's uh, like a dark lamp. It's not a colored bulb or anything. Uh, Jill says, do they bite? Um, ours is... Uh, Generally, they're very docile, all of them, not just ours. I like to say that, because uh, there's a horse I ride that my trainer also says the same thing about. Um, this horse is not easily offended, and Flash is not easily offended. Like, if she's exploring and I pick her up, she doesn't She doesn't mind. She doesn't do anything. Uh, she's never, she doesn't bite or anything uh -oh. like that. We hand feed her most of the food, so she gets a lot of vegetables. She gets bugs. Raspberries and blueberries are a treat, which, you know, 
uh, we, we would hand feed her, things like that. And uh, yeah, no problems with her. She's really easy to take care of. And it was really funny when I was buying the fleece from Joann's for her little dig box, because I was buying such small pieces. Um, the lady at the cutting counter asked me, what are you, what are you using this for? And I told her. And then uh, she kind of had a you know funny look on her face, and she's like, "Well, wouldn't uh, isn't the fabric gonna get dirty?" And and I stopped for a minute because I was like, "Why would it get dirty? Like she's just in there playing around." But um, Sonia says, um, "How do you bathe her?" So I actually give her a bath every morning. I use a it's a scrapbooking container, so it's 12 inches by 12 inches, and it's only like two inches high, so she can see over the side. I put warm water in there. Um, I don't really bathe her like you would bathe a dog. I don't like rub her down, but she goes in the water and uh, I just dribble a little on her back and uh, her cage is always clean because that's when she goes to the bathroom when I give her her bath. Sorry, and if that sounds gross. But Ew. And that's... you touch her after that? No, she's she's always clean. Hope you and, washed her hands. Well, the great thing is she never goes to the bathroom anywhere. She doesn't go to the bathroom in her tank. She doesn't go in to the bathroom when she's running around. So it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I like taking care of her. She's fun. <laughs> when we went to get our vet checked up uh, first time, the vet is like pulling at her jaw, opening her mouth, you know, doing all these things that you'd think an animal like that would try to run away or flip out and bite. And she wasn't like that. And what I've read and I've seen, I think someone said in here that their male would bite sometimes, but not hard. I've never heard of a bearded bag dragon biting anyone, actually. Well, not uh, ours, at least. I, when I worked at the she pet just, shop, even, she just they never she ever heard She has her beard. Anyone. Uh, when the vet was, you know, poking her and prodding her, she kind of puffed her beard out, but that's all she did. So, yep. uh, yeah, I see Cheryl says, oh, boy, Sarah, it's your pet. Uh, shh, don't tell Violet. <laughs> no, it's definitely Sarah's pet. She has stuffed animals. She has a little uh, couch to lay on. So she's she's very co quite comfortable in her, her little tank. Anyway, let's get back to the topic mm -hmm. of sewing. But um, someone emailed me a question during the week. Um, Amara wanted to know what made you want to start sewing and I've kind of talked about this briefly in the past but I wanted to share the full story. So I was sewing when right before, well it started right before I had William. So William's 12 years old now and I had these grand plans that I was going to sell these bags on Etsy and they were going to be amazing. So I, the first pattern I started working with was an Amy Butler pattern and then the second one, which I thought would be good for mass production of bags, was a Lazy Girl pattern. And it was just like a simple tote bag with a magnetic snap. And rather than make one first and see how it looked, I thought, well, I'm just going to assembly line and make a ton of them. So I think I cut out fabric for like how many? Like 50 or a lot, a lot of these bags. And I finally finished one because I, you know, I was making them assembly line. Uh, they weren't going to be done until like almost the whole set was done. And I remember I was still working at the pet store at the time. I brought the finished first one to the pet store. And uh, I worked with this guy at the time. Um, James Fox Jr. was his name. Everyone called him Jim. And he was in his uh, 50s, I think. And uh, I brought the bag in. And Jim was the best. He always made you feel good about yourself, said nice things to you. I brought the bag in. He's like, that's awesome. He told me how, you know, I pointed out everything he thought was great about it. And then I turned around and I showed my coworker, who was uh, a female and younger than me, and I can tell by the look on her face that this bag was, she wouldn't buy it. She wouldn't take one for free. Like it was not a good looking bag. And uh, I think I kind of agree with that. Um, my skills at the beginning were not uh, the best, but I feel like it's a good lesson because it made me want to keep sewing more projects so I could get better because every project that I sewed, I learned something from. And I think it's a good message, especially to the beginners or the beginning bag makers that are watching you're not going to start off sewing and make a, I don't know, like a Gucci, ba Gucci bag or something like that. I think uh, just start off with a project and if it's not 100% to your liking, take it as a learning experience. And I still do that with projects that I'm making still. Quilts, garments, even bags sometimes. Each one doesn't have to be perfect. It should look nice and I should try my best, but um, it'll teach me something that I can take with me to the future bags or future other projects. Um, so that's uh, what made me want to start sewing. I'm surprised I didn't give up after those assembly line bags, but um, it, I don't know, it was just interesting. It's almost like a puzzle to unlock, figuring out how the things come together. That first bag had a magnetic snap and it had a uh, cording in the handles. And it was just interesting trying different techniques. So I think that's what made me want to keep sewing, trying something out. 
um, even if it didn't work out 100%, I, I got far enough along. Maybe I was 80% happy with it, but I was like, you know what? This was this is not bad. Let's see what I could do. I think I could do better. Let's see what I could do on the next project. So I tried something else. Um, How much fabric do you think you used to make those bags? Oh, a lot of fabric. And they're I, all different kinds. And, you know, it was before I started using interfacing. So those bags, I think, were majority batting, like quilt batting which is interesting. Um, but yeah, you always learn something new and always different techniques that you can pick up along the way. So I always, I also wanted to spill the beans about the So Sweetness book club that's coming up soon. Um, I actually posted the um, schedule in the description on Facebook and YouTube. So if you're curious about that, um, I did um, on Sunday spill the beans about what the first uh, book club choice would be. And I have that book right here. Um, the first choice is going to be, and I gave you a little bit of advan advance notice um, since I found that this book wasn't uh, incredibly widely available. I actually got a used copy, um, but it's called The Sewing Machine, and the author is Natalie Fergie. Um, so the schedule's in the description. Um, starting February 12th, I'm going to announce, even though I sort of already did, I'm going to announce um, the choice for book number one. And then we're going to be showing off project number one because we're going to have a project to go along with each month's uh, book choice. Um, so uh, the beginning of the month, every month for six months, and then um, the the very final month we'll have prizes, we'll review the last book. Um, so because there's six sewing projects that will be going along with each book review, I'm, I'll be writing six brand new patterns, we'll have six brand new videos, they'll be free. Um, so I hope you'll join us. I'm really excited. They're all fiction books somehow tied to sewing. So obviously the first ones, the sewing machine can't get any more sewing specific than that. But um, some of the other books that I've chosen, and I'll announce those as you can see from the schedule each month, uh, but they have something to do with sewing, either um, uh, quilt related, garment related, garment sewing related, um, embroidery related so I, I found some really fun ones and I think um, I'm really excited about it. R Rolanda says do we have to subscribe to the book club? No we're going to be doing it um, on our Tuesday shows um, according to the dates that I've posted in the description so it's perfectly free if you're already watching Ask Sarah every Tuesday it'll just be part of the Tuesday shows. Danny will be taking those nights off and uh, we'll be debuting the brand new videos and um, talking about the books uh, the following month. So February 12th will be officially announced. get announcing. the night off. What? Yes. <laughs> I was going to read the book too. I thought we were going to talk about it. Did you want to read the book also? Uh, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Shame on you, sir. February 12th will be showing off the first, done. first project mm -hmm. officially announcing the book. The following month we'll, we'll discuss the book on the show, announce the following month's book, um, as well as project number two. So lots of fun things. I'm really excited about it. Mary says, Sarah, that book is a UK publication. That's why it's hard to find in the US. It, um, I did get mine from the UK. Yes, it is UK. I can see on the back. It's also available as an ebook. So if you have a Kindle or um, you like to read books on your tablet or even cell phone, I think some people read books Not on a cell a lot phone. Of digital people saying that. Um, I've, Two nine I, at Barnes and Noble digitally. They got an Amazon Kindle person, so they got it from the library digitally for their Kindle. Yeah, I saw some people um, emailed me, let me know that they found it at their library. I've seen the prices range from one ninety nine. I've seen a few people, like you just said, uh, Barnes and Noble had two ninety nine, and then. I think uh, Amazon had it for four ninety nine. So inexpensive if you like the digital copy, or if you can find it from your library. All right, um, Danny's second favorite part of the show. Uh, we'd like to invite you now to go ahead and type "bag lady" or "bag dude" in the comments. Go ahead and type that now on Facebook or YouTube. And we really like seeing, um, especially when Danny's on the show with me on Tuesdays. He's got the laptop right here. I can see all the bag lady and bag dude comments coming through. So. Um, really appreciate the supportive bag making community. Um, we have a lot of fun things planned for you this year, such as book club. Uh, we have a free video quilt along coming later this summer. I have some other contests and challenges planned uh, behind the scenes. We're working on those. So very excited. And thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for being part of the community. So let's jump over uh, to your pick of the week. Before you go to that, oh, people yes. are saying you can get it as an audio book too. Um, Oh, and, Audible? Is, yeah. is that what they were saying? Yeah. Audible? Okay, and, awesome. And uh, $2.99 on Amazon as well, like okay. for digital. Okay, sweet. All right, pick of the week is Jessica 
she made this awesome so sweetness bag. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. <laughs> it's I think the it's... day trip self oh, on wallet. Whatever. This is uh, from a project from Minikin season two. Uh, she had cool quilting on there. Uh, I love the cork on the front. And then the inside picture we'll get to next. It's going to have, it looks like a clear vinyl, almost like glitter, so you could see inside the pockets. The embroidery on the front looks very cool to me as well. I love the teal against the purple. And her last name is uh, Jeff Coat. Jessica Jeff Coat. Great job on this. And we'll see the inside picture next. I hope. Maybe. Possibly. Hey, you organize the pictures. <laughs> yeah, there it is. See the glitter vinyl? Oh, it's that's super awesome. Cool. And her last picture, she's got a cool even little pull chain on there. Uh, the last picture has a card there. So you can see what you have in your pocket. Sometimes you'll hide something in there, forget about it. I thought that was a great idea. So you could, as I a card I never thought holder. of that. That's really, yeah, yeah, that's really, really cool. I assume that's why she chose it, because I think it's a great idea. Excellent. Great job, Jessica. And thanks so much for posting your photos in the Facebook group. If you're not already a member of our Facebook group, I hope you'll join us over there. Lots of great photos coming through. Uh, people ask questions. Uh, if they have a sewing-related question or a general bag-making-related question, so it's a lot of fun over in the Facebook group. Um, Someone asked, do you have a, a favorite for pinking shirts? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I have some um, Kai pinking shears. They're right here. I previously had uh, Fisker's pinking shears, and they were a little... The thing about pinking shears in general is I feel like they're not as smooth to open and close as my regular sewing scissors, my regular fabric scissors. These are just very smooth, and I, I don't know if it's because of the, what would you call this right here? I know I've asked you before. Um, I know it's measured from the fulcrum, so I don't know if that's the fulcrum. No, okay. The I, I was talking about the bolt that holds everything in. Rivet? No. I don't know. Anyway, it just takes a little bit extra hand strength. Um, I feel like regardless of what brand, um, but I use the Kai uh, pinking shears. The model number is 5350. I've had the Fiskers in the past, and those were fine. These just close Sarah a really bit never easier. uses those ever. Yeah, Honestly, I should. She snips the, every time the video. <laughs> she makes little triangles. I, I should use these for uh, notching curved edges when making a bag, but I just, I don't know. I'm just stuck in cutting them with, you know, by hand with my fabric scissors. Sam so. Ross says that um, she said she includes glitter uh, vinyl in all her projects. It's like her uh, go-to uh, for trademark. Went through. I'll, I'll post it in a second. Okay. Uh, Lejeune says, I was cooking my birthday dinner and got so into Ask Sarah, let the water run out of my steamer and set off my fire alarm. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Danny could tell you, how often does the fire alarm give a warning? Uh, I don't know. Once every couple weeks. Yeah, he has to silence it. We have a... Uh, it's a Nest smoke alarm and carbon dioxide And detector. it gives it gives you a warning. It lets you know beforehand. Uh, what does it say? Uh, warning, smoke detected. Uh, yeah, warning, smoke detected, and then he just has to go and I'm like, Danny, sil you know. No, my phone, I get an uh, announcement as well, so I grab my, my phone's in my pocket usually. Uh, Tamara said she says she always includes glitter vinyl in all her projects. Such a cool trademark. I, I think that is it's cool. super, super cool. Um, well, I was going to ask for the share, but I saw you jumped right into the questions. So do you no, mind if I do you mind if I pop no, over I, with the I, share real I, quick? Um, we always like to ask if you're watching on Facebook, um, if you enjoy our live videos and our other bag making and sewing tutorial videos, um, if you'd like to share this, uh, video with your other Facebook friends by hitting the share button now, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you can go ahead and hit subscribe right now. And regardless, the likes on either Facebook or YouTube help us out so much, and the like is just a little thumbs up icon, and we really do appreciate the likes, shares, and subscribes, so thank you so much for doing that. Um, Natasha says, I don't have a Kindle. Can I read it on my iPad? This is probably a good question I'm for you. I'm pretty sure there's um, uh, ebook readers you can get for your iPad, That um, so if you purchase from Kindle, or there might be even just a Kindle app for your iPad so you can read directly on it. Um, uh, if you Google, I'm sure you'll find an answer to that. I'm sure I'm sh somebody that's watching knows. So if you know the answer to this question a little bit better, uh, go ahead and comment, and Danny will put it up on the screen. He'll watch for it. I'm almost, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Joanne says, uh, yes, I read on my mini iPad. Yeah, there's got to be, there's got to be some sort of program to download. I'm assuming it's a free program. Um, oh, I didn't ask for questions. I'm, lo I'm looking over at your screen for questions. Um, if you have any, did I ask for questions already? You said we were talking about questions, but can oh, you take okay. a minute to do the share? If you do have a question, go ahead and type that in the comments now. I'll answer as many questions as I can live. 
I don't know where my head is today. I made dinner and I made actually two desserts. I made banana bread and I made lemon blue uh, lemon blueberry muffins. How are you going to ask for questions and go into a story when there's a question I just waiting to be answered? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Janet, Janet says, Sarah, where can we get the Kai scissors? Um, I think... I bought these on Amazon. The The regular fabric scissors that I use are model number 7205. Um, I think they were around $45 or so on Amazon, um, but they're awesome. They're, they clo open and close so easily. Why are you smiling so hard? Because I'm, I, I move oh. my arm to stretch and I'm turning my arm back. You, you're like putting a concrete arm. It won't move. I'm trying to put my arm back and you're like, can no. they see? Can they see what you're talking about if you take the question off the screen? Oh, the, let me answer the question first. Oh, okay. Here's the arm rest. Put your arm rest. Okay, arm. so I'm... And like, I was trying to put my arm back, so I'm going like this. <laughs> and I'm trying to push, and you weren't... Sorry. I, I don't want to, like, push you off your chair. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia says, what colors do glitter vinyl come in? Do you sell it? I actually don't sell clear <laughs> glitter vinyl, but uh, we sell, what, 22 different colors. Um, I'm not sure where Jessica got that clear glitter vinyl, but um, it's really cool looking. Um, Karen says, quick question. You said you updated the Aragon pattern for the video. If we already have the original pattern... Will it still work with the video to be released later this month? So that's a great question. Um, the four-pack video bundle is coming out on January 31st, and it's four brand-new videos, um, as well as the PDF patterns that go along with those videos. And um, I have updated the Aragon bag. Um, that one came out in 2013. There's no errors in it, but um, I just decided to refresh all the step photos. I updated... Um, my drawings for the pattern pieces. Again, the pattern pieces are the same. I just drew them out in my current software that I use. Uh, what else did I do? I changed the construction on the top zipper and I just edited the, edited the pattern for Bravity. I noticed when I was going back through the pattern getting ready for the videos, uh, I was taking what I would normally take to write a single step in the pattern. There were several sections where I was taking like three or four steps where I could have just taken one step and I just thought I should revisit the pattern and edit it. So to answer your question, if you purchased uh, the Aragon bag from my website, if you purchase it using your account on my website, um, that pattern will be updated on January 31st and you'll just be able to log into your account and download the up updated version. That'll be just the single version available in your account. If you purchased it from Craftsy or Etsy, um, the updated version will also be available in your account. And if you did not purchase it from my website uh, using your account, if you used guest checkout, so that means it would not be available in your account, you can just email me when the pattern and video come out and I'll take care of everything. So never fear, however you bought it, uh, it'll either be updated or you can contact me and I'll help you out with that. Um, Sherry says, yes, there's a Kindle app for iPad and iPhone. That's what I thought. Oh, good to know. Awesome. So you can just get it. Uh, it's not called the Play Store for, it's called the it's Apple, Apple Store. Apple Store, yeah. Okay. Um, Donalyn says, will there be a 2019 core club? Uh, we're hoping there will be. We're still looking to move this year. So our goal is to run the core club after we move just because we don't have enough space. Um, also enough space to hire extra labor in our current, because uh, we run everything out of our house. So we're hoping to set that up after we move. Uh, we haven't found anything yet. So we'll keep you updated on the live shows and on social media when um, the pre-orders for Core Club open up again for this year. And if you were a member of last year's Core Club, it won't be any different um, colors or offerings of Cork this year. Uh, we're just running it again for those people that missed out on it uh, the first time. Carrie says, can we get a hint about the type of projects, projects for the book club? So I've only thought about uh, about four pro I've sketched out four projects so it's so far three of them are bags and one of them is a smaller accessory so I feel like I feel like so when I when I see people offer patterns other designers and I'm just talking about this in general sometimes uh, the projects are easier and I've done the same thing m myself in the past um, however I just have a really hard time even though it's a free project I want to make it like uh, all sorts of, you know, fun details and a really cool design. So, um, you know, that's, that's what's happening with that. So there'll be still really detailed projects. We'll have a video to go along with that, but, um, I don't want to, I'll probably do sneak peeks, um, uh, closer to the time, but I haven't sewn up any of the projects yet, so I have nothing to show and I just have my silly little sketches. So hopefully they'll work out. We'll see. 
Oh, um, uh, can we make rolled handles out of cloth material, not just you know leather? Oh, and Audrey's cork. question, uh, which went off the screen already, wanted to know about rolled handles with um, fabrics that will fray, such as quilting cotton. So I've not done a video tutorial for that yet. I did a video tutorial recently for making rolled handles with fabric that can be cut raw, like cork, leather, vinyl, um, or wool. Uh, it is on my list for future, but I don't have a video for that yet. So sorry about that, but it is on my list, I promise. Tammy says, question you answered before, but to confirm, can we swap for different patterns in the four-pack bundle? Yes, so the four-pack that's coming out next week is two brand new patterns and two patterns, um, the Aragon bag and the Reason to Bag, which are uh, previously released patterns. And as always with the four-packs, if you would like to purchase the four-pack and you already own one of the patterns in the bundle, all you need to do is email me after you purchase and I'll help you get set up with a replacement because I don't want anyone to have duplicate purchases. And all of the patterns in the bundle will also be for sale individually. Same thing with the, the video. So if you're only interested in one, um, no need to buy the bundle. You can just get the one that you want. Nikki says, how long will the patterns be bundled for uh, before they will only be available for, for individual purchase? So that's a great question. They're going to actually be available for individual purchase um, on January 31st as well. So um, I don't have a, a window for the bundle where you can only get the bundle and um, the other patterns won't be available till after that. You can buy the individual patterns um, on the same day that the, the bundle is released. Stacy says, question please, when working with cork and fabric for a bag, do we just treat the cork like fabric? Or do I need to do something different when putting it together? So in general, for 90% of the applications for the cork, um, if I'm using it for the body of the bag, I tend to like to use the same interfacing as called for in the pattern. If I'm using the cork or leather uh, for straps or accents, I usually um, leave those raw. So I'll cut those minus the seam allowance. And I, I don't usually use interfacing for straps or accents. So. Um, when I'm talking about an accent, uh, so th this uh, Sublime bag, the blue portions were made with cork. So this is what I mean by an accent. So I cut this raw. So in the in the pattern, there's instructions for both quilting cotton or um, cork or leather. Um, if you were making this uh, accent out of quilting cotton, you'd use two pieces sewn right sides together along this bottom edge. Um, since this can be left raw, I just... Uh, cut it minus the seam allowance, which there are dashed lines on the pattern. So there's not two pieces of cork here, it's just the one piece um, with the wrong side against uh, the right side of the, the main red fabric. Liz says, Hoopla is the app I use on my phone to download from my local library to listen on my phone. Yeah, I've, I, I heard someone mention that. I'm not sure if it was in the Facebook group about the Hoopla app. Um, that might have been the one where I saw people mentioning that that sewing machine book was available for $1.99, but uh, don't quote me on that. Carrie says, Sarah, uh, do you come to Sew Expo in Seattle? I've actually not done any um, expos or shows like that in the past or quilt shows in the past. Um, I have done um, industry-only trade shows called Quilt Market, but um, I don't know. I'll consider it for future. It might be interesting to do a bit of traveling. Diane says, me too. I will work uh, I will work for Corker Vinyl. Did somebody say that about, I think about else, that in yeah. the comments? <laughs> That's funny. Rhonda says, when will your new backpack pattern come out? I see there's a supply pack to purchase, but no pattern. So um, the new backpack's called the Park Sling Backpack, and that's actually part of the four-pack video bundle, which is coming out next week on January 31st. So not too much longer. Mary says, if cording starts to fray, uh, what do you recommend? Um... I'm not sure if you mean while you're putting the bag together after you cut it. So what I usually do with the cording is I like to um, wrap some tape around the area that I'll be cutting so that the tape um, can stop the cording from fraying on both sides. So the side that I, the piece that I cut off to use and then the rest of the roll um, has a little bit of tape left over on it too. Um, if you don't want uh, to leave the tape in the finished project, depending on what you're making, you can um, not the ends of the cork. Um, I'm sure there's probably some sort of purse hardware ends that you can put on it, but just regular, um, what is it, scotch? Is that scotch tape, the clear tape? Is yeah. that what it's called? Um, just regular scotch tape. I just wrap it around um, once and so it overlaps a little and then I cut it and then that'll help it from stop fraying, st stopping to fray. <laughs> Joanne says, I started reading the sewing machine yesterday and finished it this afternoon. It was so good I couldn't put it down. I'm so glad. I can't wait to read this. I actually... Um, you know what? I, I meant to give this away. Should I give it away tonight? Is that okay? Did you read it already? 
No, but I I, I got it for my uh, Kindle. Oh. I got this one specifically to give away. So why don't we do that now? Um, can you think of a question on the fly that they could answer for the giveaway? I'm going to give away this copy that I got. Um, it's it's like new. I, I bought a used copy, but it was listed as like new, and it looks like a new copy to me also. Uh, why don't we do that? Did uh, Sure. Well, let's answer a couple questions before they go, because I know it's going to get flooded out the way. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. How long the bundle will be on sale Smart for? Smart thinking. Melissa says, Nikki was asking how long will the bundle be on sale for? I think we usually do in around nine days. So let me check my, I don't, I didn't even, uh, why don't we do um, January 31st through February 11th. How about that? I'm so organized. I had to pick those dates. <laughs> it's, it's a weird start and end date, but whatever. I don't know. All right. Uh, February 11th. Okay, cool. All right, so the way, if you're not familiar or if you're new around here, the way the four packs work is they're only available for a limited time and then they go away forever, but the individual patterns and videos are always available. Um, so the bundle will be available, as I just decided, January 31st through February 11th. Um, what do you want to do to give away? Um, a quick comment of something. Did you? Were there any more questions? Yeah, there's a bunch to? more questions. Okay, so let's answer more questions. It's cool. Okay. Sorry, sometimes I don't think. I know you're more thoughtful of how the technology works. I know, Let's I know. Let's focus. Come on, sir. T Tammy says, one more question. How do you prevent the feed dogs from scratching vinyl when you are sewing two pieces wrong sides together? Hope this makes sense. So um, depending on what you're working on, you might need to um, reduce the pressure on the presser foot setting, the dial on the front of your machine. Well, on my machine, it's on the front. Um, also, you can use um, has either a tearaway stabilizer on um, to protect the, the vinyl while, while you're sewing. So um, it says printer paper. Printer paper. I've then used, um, I've purchased in the past a roll of, a small roll of medical paper, and that's the paper when you go to the doctor's office that they put on the, what is it called? Um, where they have you lay and sit when the doctor examines you, that paper that exam they put table? on there. Oh, exam table? Exam table, yes. Uh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so you could use any of those, and after you're done sewing, um, just tear that away. So I've had good luck with the tearaway stabilizer. The medical paper was a little bit, um, I felt a little bit messier. I had to pick a few extra bits out after I finished sewing, but um, those are good options for, and the printer paper, uh, for protecting your fabric so it doesn't get scratched up. Um, B says, when buying the bundle, what will the price be compared to the individual prices? So the four pack video bundles are always $40 and then you get four videos and four PDF patterns. Um, so four projects to make. Um, the individual prices of the PDF patterns are usually $9. Um, we always bundle the PDF pattern with the video for $15. So it's a good savings if you're interested in several of the patterns from the four pack. Uh, $40 for the four patterns and videos is $10. It's almost like getting buying the PDF and getting the video almost for free. So it's a good deal. Mary says, uh, this is piping, not cording. Sorry, wrong term. Um, eek, the piping is fraying, and I don't want to take it apart. So um, I'm not sure if your piping, is it wrapped in, um, I'm assuming your cording is wrapped in fabric. So I'm trying to think how it would be fraying. But if you'd like to email me, Mary, um, after the show, you, you can, and I can help you a little bit um, off camera. But my email is sarah at sosweetness.com, and that's Sarah with no H. I'm happy to help. They're saying tissue paper, freezer tissue paper. paper. Freezer paper, that's a good one too. I see exam table. I see a lot of tissue papers. A roll of see, machine tape for a stabilizer. I see Nancy says exa exam uh, paper. Ask if you ask if you can have it. <laughs> Kathy says a roll of adding machine tape is great to have to use for a stabilizer. It's narrow and won't need trimming. Oh, that's a good idea too. Plus then you're not wasting like, well, not that you would be wasting a whole sheet, but... Very, very interesting. People want their car organizers. I've seen multiple pass by. So something for the cars. Car organizer. Oh, car organizer. Okay. Hangs back the seat. Maybe do a little garbage on the side of it. Oh. Two for one. Yeah, that was what we were considering for the Minikins last year. And it's uh, we put a vote out. and Didn't win the... The cooler was the winner of the vote. But I would still like to do the car organizer. Because we could sure use a car organizer in our car, I think. Right? For sure. <laughs> At least for garbage. So you want to do your uh, giveaway? Okay, uh, did you think of a question? Um, <laughs> I would think of something Anything, that's going to be not song related. It's like, doesn't, no, how it many Star Wars movies related. where they're out? Are, no, no, no. See, that's what, that's what I would come no, up with. No, a question of uh, something that they like. Oh. What would everyone like? 
Well, like uh, last week I asked, what's your favorite novel? What? That's not the what's question. What's your favorite sandwich before that? Yeah. I don't know. Why don't you guys put a question in the no, comments? No, no, no. It doesn't work like questions. that. Do, do I need to come up with a question? I guess so, because I'm not creative enough to think well, about it. Well, since we were talking about Flash earlier, why don't you, if you would like to be entered to win uh, this copy of The Sewing Machine, which will be um, the book club um, month one choice, just tell me in the comments what pets you have. That's easy, right? I will choose one randomly drawn winner at the end of the day on Monday, and I'll. Why don't we just do it at the end of the show? What, let ten minutes. Oh, okay, someone's not watching live. Great, right. we gotta, we gotta. Yeah, make but it's it a bonus. You get to watch live. No, you get a chance no, no, to win no, no. Because some people, it's in the middle. It's like two or three a.m. for them, depending on what country. I'm gonna draw the winner at the end of the day Monday. If you an enter this giveaway, and I'll announce it on next Tuesday's show, and the winner will get this copy of the book, so you don't have to find your own. How about that? Done. All right. Paula won. She said 10 Star Wars movies right pretty quick. <laughs> Good job, Paula. I would give it to you, but, you know, the, the boss took control. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching Ask Sarah. I'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Have a great week and happy sewing. Bye, everybody.